Uh, Aurobindo Pharma, on the other hand, is under pressure. Uh, there is some regulatory uh, overhang on it. They've got a warning letter from the US FDA for its UGA Unit 3. Ikta joins in with the details. Ikta. Well, yes, Aurobindo is in focus because their UGA Unit 3 has received a warning letter from the US drug regulator. Now, this particular unit, which manufactures formulations, is a part of their UGA business, which basically houses the speciality business. Now, it was inspected in Jan, uh, Jan 22nd of this year to Feb 2nd to be specific and was issued nine observations at that point in time. The unit was then eventually classified as an official action indicated status which increases the risk of regulatory action by the US FDA in May of 2024. Now be, by way of caution the company had already stopped manufacturing it at UGI Unit 3 post the inspection which had taken place in Feb. The company has been incurring remediation costs. For example, it incurred remediation costs in Q4, it spilled over in Q1, and they believe that it had reduced to as much as around $2 million versus $7 million earlier estimated in Q2. Now, the company, as per our interaction post the Q1 numbers, indicated that they have finished the corrective and preventive action when it comes to remediation for Unit 3. And um, it was speculative to say when the USFD could come and reinspect the facility. Now, analysts have indicated that at least around 20 plus ANDAs could be impacted because of that official action indicated status, which was issued all the way back in May of 2024. So that impact is likely to continue. One will also, also have to see whether there could be any incremental remediation that the company will have to undertake. Now, separately, remember that uh, there was an other OAI which was issued to the company's unit two just earlier this month, but the revenue contribution is limited at around 1%. So the street is going to have to see various factors for example, how much will Unit 3 contribute going forward considering there is a warning letter and the larger picture of regulatory concern considering that Unit 2 is also under the regulatory scanner. The company had stuck to their guidance of doing sales of around $600 million from UGA in FI25 as a whole and whether or not they can manage to stick to that guidance as well. Okay, well, thanks a lot, Ekta, for that. I just wanted to, uh, you know, 